Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are mostly chilling for the moment. We're dealing with a few rebels here and there for sure and we're building universities. This is all something that we are doing for the moment. Uh, fort maintenance is fine. We don't have forts. Armenian La Plata noble rebel, rebels, huh? Okay, where are those at? Right here? Sure. We'll go deal with those. No problem. Sure, Armenian La Plata could probably handle it, but that's fine. Okay. Sounds good to me. So, next up, that's all great. Keys Keys Federation Separatists. Yep, that's not surprising. We'll head on over here. Cool. And we do want to build universities wherever we can. So, we'll continue to work on that when... Oh, this is so laggy. With the university open. Okay. Noted. <laughs> that is exciting stuff. Okay. Okay. We're, we'll continue to work on this when we don't have other things to work on. But this is getting slowly faster. Very slowly. And by the end of this episode, it should be done. For sure. Even with us working on other things, unless we get pulled into another reasonably large war. That's the potential concern there. We'll see. I do see a lot of our armies are taking attrition right now. And I would normally try to move them. But, I mean, we're sitting on a million manpower. Literally. Literally a million manpower. So, honestly, I'm not that concerned about it. We'll get there eventually. So, that's all well and good. We're also working on annexing Roman Transalpine Gaul. And, of course, while we're doing this, the whole time there is frozen until it finishes that processing. So, our tick forward is pretty slow while we're doing this. Any moment now. Especially on the mon month tick. It's pretty slow. This isn't shocking. This is honestly fairly expected. But it's definitely getting faster. Every click it's getting a small amount faster. So that's great. I just hit C there to uh, confirm through that window rather than moving my mouse. In, in case you were wondering what was going on with that one. And we're at 65.3% of our annexation of Roman Transalpine Gaul, which is a pretty big deal, too. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We don't care about Armenian Mississippi controlling their own territory. They can do that. In fact, we want that. That is exactly what we want. Cool. Now, that's a revolt, and we'll have to take care of this. So, let's go to that. That is... Let's close this so that we have some actual speed here. There we go. Down over here, no problem here. Beautiful. I'm going to zoom back out before opening the build interface again. <laughs> cool. And let's proceed. Beautiful. So this is definitely getting faster, and it will get to the point of being acceptably fast very soon. And we'll have all of these universities done, I think, within the next probably 10 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that estimation goes. But that's just based on how much faster it's going now than when we first started on this process. So that's great. At least, except for the month tick. <laughs> on month ticks, things are awkward. But it's certainly speeding up. Yeah, I don't care about either of those pop-ups, so they're both fine. Cool. We're also a bit behind on our dip tech. That is, of course, because our annexation is taking, like, 8 power per month. It's a lot. No doubt about that. But we'll continue pushing our way through this. And we definitely see a lot of progress being made. We can see a lot of universities under construction here. That's where this cross-hatching is. So that's fantastic. Another revolt spawned, and we're going to take a look at that. That is out over this direction. Oh, this doesn't look like a problem at all. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely no problem. And back to universities. I do want to get those constructed. There's also a lot of fire temples that we can build, and you can see how few there are to build here. We're doing a lot better then. Cool. And by building these, that will actually help our construction of our uh, 
of our universities because these are locations that we now temporarily anyway can't build a university in so that's fine i want to check okay just wanted to double check that cool for courthouses we're good okay so let's head back into universities Hellenic Zealots. Yes, we should have those under control. And we can see here we're actually finishing construction of some universities as well. There's one here, one here, one here. These are starting to pop in. And that's fantastic. Oh, this is so much faster already. Except for on the month tick. But yeah, look at this. It's already like twice as fast as it was at the beginning of this episode. So that's amazing. And it's just going to keep getting faster. Up until the point where there's barely any discernible lag. So that'll be great. We're seeing many universities finishing construction. And with the amount of cash we have, I think there's no reason not to build a university literally everywhere. Since they give us a free building slot, it doesn't even take up a building slot. So I'm completely content with this. Cool. Yeah, this is so much faster already. We can see there's still a lot of locations that we need to build them in. We're not including our subjects, for the record. Okay, I don't care about that war of aggression. That's not relevant for now. We're just trying to spend down our cash a bit. And not actually seeing that many changes right now, but we're currently working down in this region, it looks like. So as we get through that, yeah. Okay, we have a revolt here. We should definitely deal with that. So they're out over this direction. Ah, these guys up here. Got it. No problem there. And let's hop back into our production interface. Not courthouses. We're, we're doing okay on courthouses for now. Universities. Cool. So we can see those constructions queuing up. And we're getting to the point of having like probably a solid half of our provinces are queued up at this point. And it's just going to get faster and faster here. Month ticks are still not great. That's for sure. Armenian Mississippi sent us a treasure fleet. That's nice of them. Not like we really need the cash, but it's all good. I wish there was a way to just build all from this interface, the way you can core all. That would be nice, but sadly there is no such method. Local development cost reduction. We win against those rebels. Yes. And there are two revolts here. We'll need to deal with both of those. There's one right here. We'll send this army to deal with that. And then there's one up over here. Hindu zealots all the way up here. Okay, that's, that's exciting. But that's fine. We will zoom on out. And back into universities we go. Keep in mind, a lot of these up here are gigantic provinces and will fill up very, very quickly. Europe and India are much smaller provinces, and so there's a lot more of these that we need to queue up in those locations. But in Africa and Asia, provinces tend to be much larger. Okay, manpower recovery speed. That's nice. More separatists. How rude. I'll send these guys over to deal with them. No problem. And back to university building we go. Fantastic. We'll get that all loaded up. And we can see there's still a lot of locations that need a university. There's no doubt about that. But it's so much faster now, it's insane. This is literally like three times faster, maybe even four times faster than it was when we first started this. It definitely seems to be a relatively exponential gain here. So we're going to go deal with these Kuzka Separatists. Where are they at? These guys. Honestly, we're already headed there. No problem. We'll have that underway. 
So back to universities we go. Fantastic. Cool. Actually, let's go down into our outliner here. We can see, yeah. These are all of the universities we have queued up right now, as well as some fire temples and some workshops. There's a number of them. That's for sure. Well, that's interesting. Okay, month dick is here. And autosave. And revolts. Okay. Uh, we'll come back to that. That's interesting. After these revolts. I was noticing that it had slowed back down. So we've got these guys here. We'll just hop over there. No problem. And then Coptic Zealots in three locations. One here, one here, one here. Cool. We'll do something like this and something like this. That should be no problem whatsoever there. And we will continue to build province improvements. Universities in every location imaginable. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. When we scrolled down the outliner, it felt much slower. Let's test that. And then we scroll back up. No, I guess that's about the same. Okay, I'm just insane. Sounds good. Okay, we won the battle. That's completely expected. No one is surprised by this. Okay, more revolts. Now, we do have some provincial unrest still. And why is that exactly? Why do we have provincial unrest right now? Let's find ourselves, like, Shonda. That's not over here. Pretty much just intolerance and some overextension. Okay, we're coring Wichita right now. That's almost done. Cool. So, there's these guys out here. They might be taken care of, but we'll head over there. And we also need to continue to core. So, we will sort by religious unity. There we go. And back to building universities we go. Keep in mind, this is just a free boost to our local development cost. It gives us plus one buildings, so it's completely fine. Coptic Zealots took control of the location. That's unsurprising. And we do have a number of these locations left to queue up. In fact, quite a number. So it looks like that 10-minute estimate isn't quite right. But I think that's mostly because of these rebellions. Like, we're not surprised that there's a bunch of rebellions out over here, right? And the reason why we're not surprised by this is because of the overextension that Armenian Mississippi has, which is extreme. They have a lot of overextension right now. There's no doubt about it. And this is not surprising to us in the slightest. So we'll continue queuing these. We have universities just going in everywhere. Keep in mind, the entirety of Europa has like 3,000 some provinces. Like, the entire map. So, we're probably a good two-thirds of that. Okay, so we have a revolt here, and this is fine. That's out over here again. Very rude. Uh, where is that? Is it already taken care of? I don't see a revolt out here. Okay, maybe it took us to the wrong place. No, it did not. I don't see a revolt. Cool. Maybe that was another one of those fake revolts. <laughs> that would be nice. We will continue to build ourselves universities. Beautiful. We've spent over 100,000 at this point, on universities. And we've got plenty more in the bank. No concern. And at this point, because of the way we've been doing this, we're finishing up another university pretty much every day. Which is insane. 
We're queuing them up as quickly as we finish them at this point. But we need more universities. There's no doubt about that. Rebels are successful. No problem with that. Truce expired with Blackfoot. Treasure fleet arrives. No problem there. You know, if we don't get enlightenment after doing this, I'm going to be pretty upset. <laughs> if it doesn't spawn in our territory. Keep in mind, we're currently about a year and a half away from global trade spawning. Algerian separatists, huh? Let's take a look at that. Uh, we've got these guys here, and I'm going to send this force over to deal with that. Algerian separatists will be dealt with no problem. That's absolutely fine. And we will continue building universities. We had an exceptional year, and we're going to get some manpower benefits for that. Waco is now cored. That will help our unrest. Not by much, but it will help it a little bit. Cool. Growth of the business of Saffron, and we could gain some admin power here, which we will do. We do need dip power more than anything else right now, and that's why we're focusing dip, of course. No rebellions this month. Sounds good. I'll be honest, I'm not sure where a lot of these are queuing up at. Oh, it's like Italy. Okay, sure. Yeah, we're, we're over in this region right now. Over in the Balkans, Greece, near the Carpathians. Sure. Well, that's all fine. No problem whatsoever here. Did we miss these rebels? I think we did. What do we got going on here? Yep, we missed them. Okay. So we're going to go on in and make sure that we finish those off. After all, how are we supposed to build a university in occupied locations? That's the question. The answer, we don't. Okay. So I think this is going by like province ID number is my guess. I think that's what it's currently sorted by. I don't know that for a fact though. We have some Separatists out over this direction. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't actually see them, and if they exist, I suppose that our colonial nations can deal with them. Okay. Sounds good. Back to universities. We require additional university construction. We've now spent almost 200k on queuing up universities. And it's definitely getting faster. Okay. Two revolts this month. That's not hugely surprising. And they're in Rio de la Plata. Cool. We'll go deal with those, and we'll deal with these as well. Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know how going like this selected this army, but okay, that's that's acceptable. I don't actually care which army does it. Let's head in over here, and yeah, we're just now taking those back. Okay. Sounds good for the time being. Back to workshops. Why am I saying workshops? Back to universities. Cool. So we're definitely starting to see larger provinces at this point. Yeah, that's for sure happening. We do need to come in over this way. Our Truce of the Cheyenne is over. We'll see if the natives decide to keep defending or keep making us defend ourselves into their entire continent. We'll see if that happens. But for now, I'm very content. Just really? Really? Right now on the Valenian Separatists? Okay, sure. <laughs> there we go. And now we'll go back to the workshops. I keep doing that. Back to the universities. Cool. So we'll get a good number of these queued on up. 
it's definitely a whole lot less laggy at this point. There's no doubt about that. And we're just finishing up so many universities. It's insane. Like, the sheer scale of university construction that's happening right now is... I think it's safe to say reasonably unprecedented. Maybe not in, like, the history of Europa, but, like, certainly in the history of this world. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Okay. Build all the universities. We're getting very close here to having all of our universities geared. And that's beautiful. We're very, very happy about that. We're going to want to start expanding into the rest of Africa fairly soon. That will become a focus for us as things start to calm down in the Americas. Which I think is pretty clear that that is calming down. We haven't had a native tribe declare on us in a while at this point. Although, we've been queuing up all of this, so time has been passing fairly slowly. That is something to consider. I don't know if the natives are done or not. But look at all these universities popping in. It is amazing. We have a vassal with high liberty desire. Uh, oh, okay. We'll have to deal with this. This is Roman Transalpine Gaul, which means that we have to, like, placate the local rulers. Because we weren't making progress on our annexation while they have high liberty desire. So we'll have to do that. No big deal. And now we're looking at mostly Africa and Asia here. Where we are queuing up universities at this point. There are a few still going in in Europe, I think. But, I mean, they're building in Europe for sure. That was a rebellion. Okay. Let's go see what's going on with that. No problem. Oh, and we can work on a great project. Done. Fantastic. So that's absolutely great. And from here, of course, we will continue to queue up additional universities. Beautiful. And there's just a lot of them going in. A colony just became self-sustaining, and we'll need to take one day and continue to colonize. I'm going to colonize in Cuba. Done. So there's that done, and once again, back to universities. We're very close to having our universities done at this point, honestly. We're through at least two-thirds of them, I'd say. So this is getting close. And more peasants. Okay. I mean, these are Armenian Mississippi peasants. Armenian Mississippi would probably be able to take care of them. But we want them to grow in strength so that hopefully the natives will stop attacking them. So that we can start actually pressing the borders the way we want to, rather than just responding. That would be awfully nice. But we have a few more of these to queue up, and it's also getting pretty close to putting a, or rather, pretty close to time to put a cut in here. So I think I'm going to, well, we'll, we'll need to deal with these guys. If I can get zoomed in, let's close that. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. So we'll just do something kind of like that. That'll do for now. But it is getting close to time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And while we're running the outro here, I'm just going to continue to queue up universities with the game paused. And it should go nice and quick. I'm hoping to be done with this by the time we're done with the outro. But let's see. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including I need to scroll up the list, so I'll have to stop queuing these up quick. But Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Ken Tuin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, El Michi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambron, Martin Lawrence, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. 
And as always, I will see you all next time. You can hear in the background, we're still going. But I'll have this probably done by the time we get to the next episode. Fingers crossed. <laughs>